Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Simon Tools. Behind me here is the Honda Jazz 2002. This is my four times replace the radiator. Can someone out there know how to replace this radiator? I never been done before, so I think about getting this one out. But uh, for my more clear way, look like I have to take off this one off the front bumpers so much easy so I got more roomy and I can see everything because uh, if you don't take this one out how are you gonna pull this one out this way so I have to tuck up the car get all the bolts and nuts and pin underneath take up the front bumpers and I can put my hand in there let's try so this is my photo The front bumper up, put on the side. So now the mystery is here. See this radiator step keep, keep using the car, keep using the water. See the water mark there and up here. All leaking out from the rubber seal along here. Back in the day, people go for repairing. But now, no more repairs. Get a new one. Don't ever try a second hand one not worth it so actually I will write so if I undo the, the you cannot do from here this one all welded it's not like a um, Honda CRV or Toyota it's different so you have to entry from here take up the four bolts and then you pull it out this way The car, if you have a chance, replace the starter motor for this car. I think we have to do the same way. Take up the front, take up the radiator, and you can enter your hand in there. Not easy. Here, the starter motor here. But if you leave go here, you have no hand, no room. So I think we still have to take the radiator up for replace starter motor for this car. For my new radiator, I better replace new oil for him. My supplier, he just rang up, he gave the boy to delivery, but he's taking the boy go around the world now. So I've been waiting for two hours, the radiator has not turned up yet. So I better get some oil change for him. So make sure I've been checking the oil very dirty, so I better replace the new oil. This car, the day like years ago, I've been replaced the light gloves. Even you replace the bolt, the glove for the uh, headlights, you still have to take off the front bumper. So, it's really no hand in there. If you take off this airbox, much easy to do it. But you want to do a lazy way, you always repair your tools, alright? This car, when you replace the radiator, you always need long nose pliers to take up this one but I have no choice look like I don't have a choice because uh, the fan clips is right here and the house are attached to the bottom end is right there that's not in the main thing but they're here for the power power point for the, the power flux for the fan so better take this off and you have more roomy so I can have my hand just for the power flux there and later we have to put the power flux back on again anyway so we better do it on that side and uh, put the power plug there so you remember to put it back okay 
and take up this house and tilt it that way. Now, you tear it out like this, and then you can have your hand and do the bottom house here much easier. And what I'm tucking here is the oil cooling, oil cooling for the transmission. You can remove from here. Much easier for you to put it back. One here, one there. Twist and turn just slowly. Don't rush, or you may hurt yourself again. Okay. And this one, if you have the tools, very easy. So this one, and then we undo this one from here. Whatever you can see. It's not easy, you do from there. So the two houses right there, just put that one there. Just in case the oil come out. Okay. We're waiting for the new radiator come. Then we get connected back and put it back in how the way we get out. That's how we get back in. I think the boy who delivered the radiator for me, he go well the well. So he still can't don't make it here yet. Even I removed the radiator, train all the oil out. And he's still not here yet. So later, I check the oil for transmission for him as well. Well, when you can see something down here, much easy. Check the oil as well at one go. Oh my God, oil very dirty. The oil for transmission is still alright. This one done 200 something thousand K. The oil was wet underneath where the sandwich place is. That means from, see the engine blocks? That's the gearbox. So the sandwich place is here. Between this gap, the oil was running out. And that oil was from this one, from the gearbox. So the main seal of the gearbox is leaking slowly. So, um, just drive it until the car die. Because the gearbox still working good, but the same with the gearbox, the main seal is leaking. So keep put an eye on the oil and keep driving until the engine die. Because uh, there's no point to take it out and replace the new seal. Not worth it. Um, this engine they run a little bit more K, so I put a bit extra thick, a little bit thicker. So they keep the engine right because this is one point eight the VTEC engine. It's a VTEC engine, one point eight or one point six, I don't know. But this engine is one of the engine I like the most. This one lasts forever. Back in the day I have the Honda Civic like this, 2004 as well, same engine, they run forever. They're really good. So keep look after the engine and keep driving. Nothing wrong with it. Finally my radio have a vibe and checking see if they're the same yes they're the same now what we have to do is see checking all the house bring everything from there over here and put them back together two like this we're gonna put everything here on this direct here all the right here okay that's how it should look and ready to go in here the blue so I have to put him on the new red one because uh, he's uh, used to run this one on blue sorry no more blue filled up with more new radiator condenser new water cooling and then I fill them all up and start it up see how it go before we put that metal frame back very simple so this car go red now so brand new radiator on places, everything hook on, even the cooling oil for the transmission all on. So um, we're gonna fill up with more water. They can like have mixed babies. Yep. And that will be so adorable. Okay. First off, see how we're going with the new radiator, new oil. 
pull this service. And uh, uh, we're gonna let it run. Sucking in with all more water, see? We're sucking in and the bubble come out and we'll be more than happy. See new oil, the engine sell really good. Actually this engine is the best. This engine they go forever. I like this engine. Look like a design like Lamborghini or Ferrari, hey. That's funny design, just half size. Oh well. Later we uh, let it run and uh, suck in the water and uh, fill up more water and then we're gonna put the cover back, the front bumper. So um, thank you for watching Simon Tools and that's a little bit of soft videos about how to replace the um, radiator for the Honda Jazz 2002. So when you take off the front bumper, you can do anything. So for this one, replace you have to take off the front bumper and even replace this one have to uh, take off the front bumper okay guys one more time thank you for watching please like and subscribe and uh, I will publish you more videos see ya